had success in the political world and in the private sector, and now he's calling for service to community and talking about the power of positivity. Jay Lucas is the author of American Sunshine, Rays of Hope and Opportunity, and Jay Lucas joins me now. Thanks so much for coming, and great to well, see you. Well, thank you very much for uh, inviting me. Great so, to be here. So, you know, it's such a relief to have a segment on positivity in this time. Well, it, you know, you feel positive, and you can achieve great things. And I, I thank you very much for having me here, because I, I am all about trying to spread this message of a positive thinking. What you can, If you believe in something and you want to achieve it, that power of belief can be really strong. So I know that, I, I mean, I generally think of myself as a, both a, a realist and an op optimist at the mm -hmm. same time, right? Plan, plan for the worst, hope for the best, right? But when you're talking to someone who's in the throes of really bad times or looking at our current world and saying, oh my gosh, this is so terrible, how do you communicate an, a message of positivity? Well, I think it has to come from the heart. Um, and I wrote a book, uh, really, from the heart, and it's all about, um, you know, I love America, and I really believe in the power of the human spirit. So I wrote this book called American Sunshine, and um, it's a fun book, but it's also a very optimistic book. It's one that says, it, it takes America and, 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 and puts it in a perspective that says, what could we possibly achieve if we could get past all this bitter, divisive uh, political talk that goes on right now? What could America be if we could transcend all that? And uh, so, so that's the essence of American Sunshine and kind of why I'm so positive. But the book also has what I call a spiritual dimension to it, that it is really about the power of belief, the power of the human spirit. And then, uh, then there is one other aspect which is kind of fun, uh, and that is the book has 28 chapters, and each chapter has its own cartoon. So it's, it's good for all of So audiences. it's good for everybody. <laughs> so you, you come not only from the business field, but also from the political field. You've run for governor in the state of New Hampshire. H how do you bring this message of positivity when sometimes you have to have friction or uh, difficult discussions or conflict in order to get all the issues out and to move forward? Yeah, the way I think about it is that I think if you approach the, a, a problem with the idea that we can be friends and we can negotiate. We may have different points of view, but let's get, let's get the objective facts out on the table and try to work out a solution that's going to be good for everybody. That's what we've tried to do um, in my hometown in Newport. And um, you know, I, I know the town really well because I, I grew up in that town. Uh, not everybody knows exactly where Newport, New Hampshire is. Where is Newport, New Hampshire? Uh, New, oh, Newport, there it is. New, <laughs> Newport, New Hampshire is. It's in the western part of the state of New Hampshire. It's uh, near Lake Sunapee. Uh, and also some people would think of it as the Dartmouth Lake Sunapee region or near Claremont. But a wonderful uh, little town to grow up in, a town of about 5,000 people. So you can imagine this beautiful little town. And what are you doing in there to, to, to renovate it, to revitalize it, to love it? Well, and, and I do love it. I mean, that really is the, the essence of this. Um, because growing up there, going to the public high school, uh, you really got a sense of community. and. I, I remember, um, it's not unlike so many other communities in New England, you'd look at that main street a number of years ago and you could literally go up and down the main street and you could name every single store, know the independent owner and their family, um, and, uh, and, and know what their kids are doing and everyone would look out for each other. It was just a great place to grow up and go, go into the public high school. Uh, however, you go back to a lot of these towns and I know I, in my own experience, I, I was driving through Newport about six months ago, and I don't live there now, but I do go back there frequently, and it just dawned on me that the town's not the same as it was 20 and 30 and 40 years ago, that when you look at that same main street, um, it's not all hollowed out and all vacant, but it's not the same. You get a number of vacancies on the main street. Uh, a lot of jobs have left town. Uh, the high school is, uh, is, has its own problems. And so what did you do? Back. So here's what I did. Um, not knowing where to start, I. Um, uh, one day, I, I sent an email out to my old high school teacher, and believe it or not, my high school teacher was still teaching, <laughs> <laughs> he and his wife. And my wife and I had brunch with them, because I wanted to learn what was going on in the town. And um, they basically validated what I had, I had come to believe, that the town was not doing as well, and that really needed a shot in the arm, but still I didn't know where to start. So what I did is um, one January evening, I started sending out emails. And I sent them out to people I know, know in the town. And, the, and it was one of the most heartening experiences I ever got. The email basically said this. It said, 
There's going to be a meeting on Friday morning at 11.30 at the Salt Hill Pub to revitalize Newport. Please be there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and people showed and up. And they, the heartening experience you. was the fact that as I started looking at my email, an old friend said, you know, I'll be there, Jay. And another one said, yeah, come on, let's go do it. So I found myself there at the Salt Hill Pub at 11.30 in the morning on Friday that, that day. And um, having this moment of trepidation and saying, my gosh, I'm waiting for everybody to come in, but I, 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 here, what am I doing? I'm t I don't even live in this town, <laughs> but I'm asking them to revitalize. So what kind of projects did you all end up working on? Uh, so we've got some really great projects. We've gone from two people to 12 people to I think we've got about 75 people now. And what we call, by the way, Newport's nickname is the Sunshine Town. It was nicknamed that back in the 1930s by a vaudeville performer who said, Newport's a town where the sun shines on both sides of the street. Uh, so we call our initiative this whole thing. It's the Newport Sunshine Initiative because we're going to bring the sunshine back to Newport. But projects that we've got undergoing right now, I mean, one of the ones I'm really excited about is we're, we're taking this old mill that's been dormant for about 40 years right on the entrance to town, and we're re re restoring the mill. And we're going to put in 51 in independent living uh, apartments, going to put in a health center, and then the part that I like the best is that we're also going to have a restaurant with a riverfront view. We've got a beautiful river that connects all the way down to the main street. I love all this. We're not going to have time to talk about your work with the Fallen Patriots, but I want to make sure that we oh, direct sure. folks. Where can people go to get information about that as well? Uh, well, Fallen Patriots is a, um, an organization designed to uh, help children who uh, have lost a parent in active military service and will pay for their education all the way through college. Helped 1,100 kids so far. Um, and one of the great things about it is for every dollar donated, 98 cents actually makes it to the kid. So you All can right. find out about that at www.fallenpatriots.org. Jay Lucas, great to meet you. I hope you come back and keep us updated all the, on all this. Of course, the book is American Sunshine. You can get it at Amazon. Thanks for coming in. Great to meet you. Sue, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much. Well All right.